what we're going to discuss here is uh, putting a brooch inside of a, um, a die that I'm making for the bead roller. These are the tools that you need for it. You have a brooch and the shim, and these are the brooch collars. The collars are set up for a different size diameter inside of the, the shaft. You see this is a one inch, this is a three quarter inch. Brooches also come up in different sizes as far as the width of the groove you're going to brooch in there. This is for a three quarter and this is a five thirty seconds brooch. And this is a three sixteenths inch brooch. And these are the blanks that I'm going to brooch, put a brooch in. This is the brooch press that uh, I set up, welded up. Basically it's a hydraulic ram with um, a frame that it sits in. This is a hy uh, air hydraulic which means it uses power, uh, air to power it and hydraulic pushes the, uh, the air pushes the hydraulic into the ram and makes it work. Uh, basically it's sort of rather simple. Here's the ram, uh, air cylinder, and this is the guides that I set up for it. And these are some hood springs out of a boneyard. Two hood springs on each side to pull the ram back up to its relaxed position. You have an on and off valve here for um, releasing it and then tightening up when you want to go. And it just connects up to an air supply and you just tighten the valve and push it. And then when you release it, it's going to bleed the hydraulics back and go up to its relaxed position. So what we're going to do is set it up to broach uh, that blank in there for the bead roller. Alright, you can get this uh, set up here. Then connect the air for it. Basically the brooch is like a straight saw. Each one of these teeth is slightly further out and when you push it down there it's, each one's going to carve off a piece of metal. It fits in there like that. You place it over the hole. Tighten your valve up. out. You can see some of the pieces, a little curled pieces of metal that it brings out. And the second part of the brooch is you put the shim in there. Don't drop it. Oops. You get ready to do the second one. It doesn't hurt to have a little oil on the side of the brooch. Line the brooch with the slot that you put in without the shim in there. The shim is in here behind. And then you just
it's all finished broaching. What you see is you've got the keyway broached into the blank for the die on the uh, bead roll. There's the other side of it. This will give you a little better idea how the broach teeth come in there and uh, trim it up. Each tooth is going in there and is cutting off a small amount of metal each time it goes down. You see as the bottom of the broach comes out, the little pieces of metal fall out. There. 